All right, all right, everybody. This is Ron Deering here today with you, and I have got an incredible special guest that I want to interview, and I want to t share with you some of the amazing things that he's gone through in his life, and let him share with you exactly why he chose to become a part of our company and a part of our business. So this young man's name is Frank Jones, and I met him probably about a week ago, I guess. And I, I loved one of the first things that we were talking about is we, we have an, an amazing connection because we're both veterans. And I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let Frank tell you a little bit about his uh, military service and some of the amazing things he's gone through. But I always resonate with veterans because we've, we've got so much in common. And with our business and with our product and what we have to offer, I believe veterans have so much to mm -hmm. take advantage of this and so much that seems so to be true, wrong with that uh, I just, I, I'm always, any chance I get, reaching out to veterans. And Frank spent over 24 years in the military, in the uh, U.S. Army, and um, he's going to tell us a little bit about that. But what I want to say first is, here's a gentleman that one of the things that impressed me the most when we were talking was, um, he said to me, Ron, you know, I'm building my 20-year retirement. I'm like, well, how old are you? And he said, I'm 80 years old and I'm the baby <laughs> in the family and I've got brothers over a hundred. And um, I'm sitting back at 67 thinking, oh, I love being the young kid. And so uh, that just really impressed me. And in a week in the business, he's already brought on two people onto his team and is going crazy. So without too much further ado, I want to introduce you to Mr. Frank Jones. And Frank, tell us a little bit about yourself and your, your military career and what you've done throughout your life. Well, first of all, thank you, Ron, for letting me have this opportunity. And yes, uh, if I get if I went on, I'd have to talk for the next 10 years because that's how long I've, I've got in reserve for things that I've done throughout my life. Ron, Talk, we've talked a lot about the military, and I started my military career in 1955, but I didn't retire until 1996. There was a few years in between there. One of those is just a quick thing. I spent 15 years in the film industry as head of production for Cathedral Films in Hollywood. I started out looking at film, telling the owner of the company whether the pictures were right color or the wrong color. And from there, I worked my way up to head of production in that period of time. So that was kind of a career break for me that I really liked. After that, I went back. I had my own business for a little while, and that didn't work. So I went back into the military and became a photojournalist. And that's what I spent my entire years, basically for 24 years, as a journalist for that. Ron was kind of interested about some of the things that I've done as a photojournalist. I did win one uh, several awards. But one of the things that I think impressed him was, one, I took a photograph. I don't know how many military people are out there. and know there's an airplane called a C-5A. The C-5A is the largest military plane in the United States military arsenal. Most Army people or Marines know about the M1 tank. One of the pictures that I took, and I'm going to show it to you there, that's a picture of the M1 tank that looks as big as the C-5A. That picture was published in every military magazine, Army Times, Army Magazine, Soldier Magazine, all of the United States. And that makes you kind of proud that you can take one photograph when you're in the military and it goes that far. I guess the, the second thing Ron talked about was probably the highlight of my military career. And I, is this a good time to talk about that, Ron? I guess it is. I was stationed in Berlin, Germany in the 1980s. I was the NCOIC, which is, means stands for the non-commissioned officer in charge of the public affairs office there. My job was the spokesperson for the British, French, Americans, and Russians at public meetings whenever the press was talking. As a sergeant, that was part of my job, was to speak to the media for all four nations. I've spent many, many hours on the east side of the Berlin Wall. I've spent time in the Russian sector. I've spent time in the British sector, the French sector. But while I was there, I was asked by the State Department, not the Department of Defense, 
to escort a very special person in my life to the Berlin Wall. I was asked by the State Department to, to take President Ronald Reagan to the Berlin Wall when he stepped across the wall and pointed the wall and says, Gorbachev, take this wall down. Man. I also was able to take, there's a meritorious service medal for the time I did that. Uh, I also took uh, President Bush Sr. to the Berlin and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Haig, to the Berlin Wall along with Margaret Thatcher. So other than that, I didn't take any dignitaries at all while I was there. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's kind of kind of wraps up my military career. I w got off of active duty and I went with to into the California National Guard as a full-time Army Sergeant, not as a California Guardsman, but a full-time Army Sergeant. I had a full Colonel was my boss, but he was National Guard. If it was a federal, if it was a state issue, or, or a, I'm sorry, a federal issue, he couldn't respond to it. So as a sergeant, I outranked him, which is, that doesn't happen very often. But when I retired from the, uh, from the military after 24 years, I was called into the commanding general's office and the command sergeant major for the state of California was there and the sergeant major says, we have to apologize to you, Sergeant Jones, because of your position, the highest rank you could obtain in the California Guard was master sergeant. So I had to retire as a master sergeant. But the command sergeant major handed this buckle. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but it, it says command sergeant major. The state of California gave me an honorary command sergeant major when I retired, and that's why I go by command sergeant major. So that takes, sort of takes care of my military career. It's only only short 24. I wanted to go for 30, but uh, circumstances dictated otherwise, Ron. And for all you people out there that are military, stay in, because they, they paid me more since I got out than while I was in. <laughs> Well, Frank, I, I'll tell you, you know, when, when I, I the, the chills are, hairs are up on my arms and uh, every time I hear these stories and uh, even with my background, boy, that's, uh, that's some phenomenal history. And I mean, the Berlin Wall, that, that must have been a, a, an amazing, amazing opportunity. President Reagan, you know, was such a great man. Uh, Amen. Um, so, you know, you, you've had this just phenomenal career. Uh, inside and outside of the military, working with the movie industry and being in the military as public affairs and so forth, kind of lends itself to network marketing, uh, essentially, I mean, because all we are doing in network marketing is networking and reaching out to the public and reaching out to our friends and family. So I guess my next question for you is, what? how, how did you get introduced? I, I know your sponsor, um, Tony Walker, uh, well, actually was uh, someone underneath Tony, uh, that I think introduced you to the business. And um, so how did, how did that all come about? And what made you make the decision to join us here at My Daily Choice? I wasn't looking for you. <laughs> so I guess that's, that, that's bottom line. But I was interested uh, in the stock market. And I am involved in the stock market. And there's a company out there called Hemp Inc. Mm -hmm. And they, I looked at it and I was studying about it. And uh, some people was talking about it. So I went in, I looked at it. And this company showed up, Hemp Works. What's Hemp Inc., Hemp Works, what's this all about? It? So I started not only researching Hemp Inc. for the stock market side, which I did end up buying some stock in, by the way, but the entire hemp industry. If nobody's ever taken the time to look at it, Ron, it's unreal. I mean, there is, it is it, it, it's exponential. I mean, it. When I looked at it, they were projecting, I think, like 20 billion a year, which is out of my visual range. They're looking like 160 billion a year now. <laughs> and the more I studied and the more I looked at it, I said, I've got to get involved with something. And, uh, uh, and this happened when I looked at the various different companies. Uh, I looked at buying, buying and reselling, and and have. Excuse me, somebody's after me already. They want to talk to me. <laughs> but uh, excuse me just a second. Let me, yeah, there they were. 
Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Uh, that's business, Ron. That's business. That's right. That's, that's business. Uh, but the more I looked at it and looked at the various companies, and there's a lot of companies similar to, but nothing comes close to Hemp Works. And the network marketing side of it, I put in a, a request or something, and all of a sudden I get something back, and then I get something back. And all of a sudden three of, of you, I think, was one of the people that responded back to me, and Troy and Mark, and I'm under, under Mark as is, is his immediate up me. The feedback and the resources. I've been in multi-level marketing before. I have never had such a positive feedback from the people in the company. Uh, it's just, if I have a question, it's answered within minutes and usually, because I put it out as a generic thing and I'll get three or four answers back. And they're not all the same, by the way, but they all lead to the same end result. And I told Ron, I want to be uh, in the in month of July, I want to have my thousand mark. And he said, and he's pushed me for 5,000. I, uh, I don't know, Ron, <laughs> but we'll work at it together. And that's the best part of this whole business. This whole company is everybody so much working together. Amen. Yeah. You know, one, one of the things I got started in network marketing back in 1970 and you and I kind of had talked about how funny, you know, people don't realize that back when, even when I was in, and, and I'm, I'm a youngster compared to when you were in, but my first paycheck for an entire month in the military was $76. And, you know, of course, you didn't have to buy your uniforms back then. You didn't, you didn't need anything. That was, you know. Try $28 for a first paycheck. I know. I remember you telling me that. And, figured, and, I, and I remember when my, my father got drafted during World War II, and he was telling me what he was making in. You know, at the time, I thought, oh, you know, I was a little kid, and, it, you know, that's, that was money. You know, I didn't realize the, the concept of, you know, the, the comparisons. But but we were all trying to supplement our income back then. And I got in, I'm from Michigan, where Amway started, and I got introduced to Amway. And I've done Amway, too. The, the whole business concept, the whole marketing concept of, I become successful by helping a lot of other people become successful really just made sense to me. It was something that I resonated with a lot more than corporate America. And even though I ended up spending 25, 30 years in corporate America, um, my, my love was always for network marketing and, and building organizations. And when I found this company and I saw what they were doing and I saw the product and I saw the leadership in Josh and Jenna's Wagle, and where, they're, where they were going when I got in a year ago, compared to even where they are right now. I mean, in, in 2017, the company started in 2014 with sprays, with nutritional sprays that were top of the line, the best of the best already. And then in 2017, they introduced CBD. And in 2017, they did $9 million in revenue. A year later, after introducing CBD, they went over 120 million in revenue. They've wow. been nominated. They, they've been given an award for the fastest growing network marketing company in the world right now. Uh, we're the largest network marketing company selling CBD oil. We've been given the award for the purest of the purest, meaning that we have the U.S. Hemp Authority seal certified on our product, meaning from dirt to dropper, we've got the best of the best. What we say on the label is in our product is in our product. So you're not, you know, our, our product has CBD oil and hemp seed oil, which is part of the hemp plant, right? And so you know that what you're getting has been has been certified, has been verified, and is you know exactly what you're getting. And when the new labels come out here and very very soon, they're going to have a code, a QR code on them where you can scan that with your phone or your tablet or your iPad, and it'll take you to the exact documentation of the batch that you have in your bottle, so you'll know exactly what's in it, how oh. much. CBD, the purity of it, and everything, and, and we're, we're the only ones that are doing that. We just got featured in um, Fortune 500, you know, so uh, the company is, the company is going crazy. We, we actually, in 2018, were one-sixth of the CBD industry, one-sixth, and like you said, they're predicting it to be 22 billion by the year 2022, but now they're saying Forbes and a lot of the financial advisors are, are, are talking about this being the next trillion dollar industry. Yeah, so I don't, I don't doubt that at all, Ron. 
I, I'm with you. I don't, I don't doubt it at all. And, but I'm like you in the fact that what really caught my eye on this is the leadership and right. the, the servant hearts and servant leadership here. People, like you say, you ask a question and it's not waiting for one person to answer. You're trying to sort out the 10 answers that you got. Um, and it's, it's just, it's a community that we're developing with a dream team that is something that I've never had before in 40 years. So. Well, I'm a firm believer in research, Ron. And, and one of the things that I've done, I don't even know how many pages I bought a new two drawer file just for him <laughs> uh, because the amount of stuff that's available and the research that's available you need to know if you're going to talk to people and you're going to build a downline, people are going to ask you questions. And if you don't have answers, they're not going to come back. No. So, uh, well, not, and, you know, one of the biggest researchers we've got going for us is Google. Yeah. Which is, Oh yeah. So a lot of times when I'm talking to someone, they'll ask me, you know, and, and we've got to be careful with the FDA and all that stuff because it, it, we don't, we would need to protect the house, right? But, but the bottom line is, if someone asks me, well, how, what does CBD do for this? I will inevitably tell them at the end the result is go look at Google, go search it on Google and find all the research paper that's done on it. And when you do, come back and talk to me so that you can get the best of the best product to do what you need to get done. Now, I think I'd add to that and what you find, share with me so I know too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I would love to. And they, they, they feel they are already part of your group. Absolutely, absolutely. Good. That was a good answer. Well, Frank, I mean, this is this has been exciting. So here's what I want. I want to leave with everybody out there that's watching this. And we've recorded this, so and Frank will have this so that he can put it out there. I'll put it out on, on my timeline and, and our YouTube channels and that, so that you can look at this and watch it. But here's what I would encourage you to do: reach out to Frank. Ask them for more information. Ask them to take the free tour. We have a free tour that you can take. All you have to do is put your name and your email in, take you to a site where you can watch a video of our owners. You can see exactly what this company is all about. Check out all the products, check out the company, check out the system that we have, check out the compensation plan, check out everything about it. And you'll, I would almost guarantee you, you would come to the same conclusion that I came to when I saw this. It took me about an hour after being introduced to this. Now, I will tell you for me, I've had great success. We've built a, a team of a, probably around 3,000 people I haven't counted lately, but I know it's gotta be probably over that at this point. And in, in 12 months, we're making a good income. I'm a 50K affiliate in the company on my way to 100K affiliate. But the reason I tell you that is because what this means is we've had to help a lot of people. We've had to impact a lot of lives. And then one, another unique thing about our company and what most network marketing companies have is they've got this ratio between the number of reps they have or affiliates they have and the number of customers. And usually the balance on that is a lot more paid affiliates and reps and a, and a small amount of customers. And the FTC and the government organizations don't like that. Well, in 2018, we don't know what the number is yet in 2019 because it's not over, but they, by the end of 2018, we had 400,000 customers and 60,000 reps. Really? The FTC loves us because we've got the right proportion. We're building a true solid company and people are building true solid organizations where the customer is a continued participant by reordering our products because they're so good. And uh, like I said, the FTC and the government organizations just love that because we've got the right ratio. It's not a bunch of reps buying the product to make the company. It's a few reps selling to a lot of customers. So I'll leave you with this one last thing. Some of you remember back in 1976. 1976, there were two gentlemen that were in a garage trying to figure out what they were going to do, how they were going to make their mark in history. And one of them was a gentleman by the name of Paul Allen. And the other gentleman was a gentleman by the name of Bill Gates. <laughs> we, all, we all know who these guys are now, right? But back then, you didn't know. They, they, they were from Harvard University. No one knew what they were going to do and who they were going to be. And now we know what they put together and what it is. And if we could go back in time, all of us would make different decisions about what they were doing, right? Well, right now, I believe that you're sitting in a garage with Ron and Frank, and you have the opportunity to be a part of something that's going to be as big as Microsoft, bigger. 
bigger. You need to make that choice. We're giving you the opportunity to just make a decision to check out a free tour, see if it's for you or not. But if you don't even make that choice, you've already thrown something away that could be worth millions to your family and to your family's family and to your legacy. So I'm asking you again, be sure that you reach out to Frank, ask him for the link to take his free tour. And I don't think you're going to be disappointed in one way, shape or form. So God bless you all. I am so glad that you joined us today, Frank. I am just so honored and blessed to be working with you. I'm so blessed that you and I have met. I can't wait to sit down with you sometime uh, in the near future in person and chat and, and swap stories and uh, just you know get to know each other even better. Ron, that's definitely going to happen. And it's in the near future, not far future. And I think one of the things that impressed me most when I start, first started to the upline and people was we don't have affiliates, Ron. We have partners. Amen. Amen. So when you have partners, it's like a wife. Your wife is your partner. Your kids are your partners. Your parents are your partners. Our affiliates are our partners. Well, God bless you, my friend. Thank you all for watching this, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. God bless. God bless.